Attention everyone, Mattel finally decided to wake the F up. Because Barbie Core is officially back. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's talk some Barbie today. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, yes. The legends just keep on dropping and dropping month after month. It is impossible officially to keep up this year with Barbie or other doll brands. You know, previously we just could not keep up with all of the Rainbow High and LOL OMG drops, but this year Mattel is really taking its ownership of the doll market back officially. <laughs> so just when we thought Mattel could not deliver it anymore, they finally decided to wake up and give us all what we need and want, which is Barbie core. Yes. And I'm here for it, of course, because I am a Barbie fan through and through. So I'm loving this for Barbie, that she's getting the treatment she deserves. And I'm glad they finally took some people uh, to be in charge over there for the Barbie brand who really know how to keep Barbie moving in the right direction. <sighs> yeah, that is a relief. So let's check out what Barbie is going to offer us in the coming months. <laughs> so first off, we have to start with Barbie Style Deluxe. It's kind of like a mixture of a uh, Barbie Extra and I think Barbie Fashionistas, but then like really the early, early days, like 2010-ish. And I am, I am totally loving this new concept. So they have Barbie Extra bodies in articulation. That is a plus because I was not mad about those bodies. Yes, I do gave all my Barbie extras made to move bodies and probably also will do with the Style Deluxe just because I like the posing a little better. Um, but um, with some of these girls, I don't think it's really that needed because for instance, one of these girls has a prosthetic leg that is translucent pink freaking glitter. How iconic. I've been waiting for the moment they would drop this because I actually also think there's articulation in the prosthetic leg, which is fantastic. And I've always um, kind of like imagined or fantasized about kind of like a prosthetic leg for Barbie, but with a heart-shaped kneecap. That would be so awesome. And I really hope they might even do that in the future. It might also kind of look a bit cyborg-ish, but I don't know. It's it's a fantasy I have in my head for just a very long time. Um, okay, but let's just go over these girls. First up, Millie. Yeah, people were, again, super hating on the repetition of the Millie face sculpt, but guys, let's be real. This doll, she is a cutie. She's cute. She has the closed mouth Millie face sculpt. She has a side eye glance. She has cute blonde hair. She has, look at that outfit. It even has like this giant big pink bow on her back. I am totally living for this outfit. The only critique here is what is happening down at the shoes because the shoes are super cute, but why isn't the panties all the way going through? I think it stops. It's kind of like a pant. But it's giving panty energy, but I think it's just a translucent kind of like legging. 
yeah, not really sure what's happening there. Um, but <laughs> overall, I think she is very adorable. Then the girl with the prosthetic leg. Awesome, super cute outfit. She's giving me Barbie Dream Bestie Malibu vibes with that pink rose on her shoulder. I really love it. I love that they reused the shoe sculpt from definitely 2010 era. And um, matching bag with her prosthetic leg is just absolute slay. <laughs> um, then my absolute favorite of the girl. She is giving me Dion from Clueless. I love her with the pink braids. That pink outfit. The faux, like the, the fuzzy... <laughs> top piece, the pants with the ruffle edges. It, everything, everything is correct about this look in my book. Uh, I really love her. I love her face paint. And oh my gosh, you guys, I am praying, praying so hard that these girls do not have pixelated face syndrome. By the looks of the promo pictures, they don't, but you know, Mattel and their promo pictures, let's just wait until we see some boxes and some pictures of them in their box so we can really determine if they have pixel face or not. Yeah. Final curvy girl. That outfit is adorable. People are kind of hating the gloves, which, okay. I love them, but maybe they're a bit chunky because it's kind of like this velvet-ish texture, which makes them a bit chunky. But I am living. I cannot wait to add this to my Barbie closet. I love this look. I love that they finally kind of like give the curvy girls some fitted clothes, you know, to embrace their curvy, curvaceous figurines. <laughs> um... I just love it to put like really tight, beautiful dresses on these curvy gals because I, it fits them best. Yeah. Uh, not really loving her ankle boots. Give that girl a cute sandal wedge heel or something or a pump that matches the whole glam of that outfit. But instead they went for 80s ankle boots. Yeah, that's kind of... Mm. The pink fantasy hair is also worrying me because I'm getting poly hair vibes here. And oh, I thought, I really thought we were over that, Mattel, but I guess not. <laughs> um, her money purse, by the way, awesome, super, super cute. I think it's a recycled uh, version of an earlier Barbie extra purse we saw, but... I'm not mad, living for the color, living for the Barbie dollar sign on it. It is so fun. Um, yeah, so overall, I am totally here for this Style Deluxe series. I think I read that it's going to be released in January. So we'll have to wait a bit for in real life photos, boxed pictures, I guess. But um, they they sure made us excited for 2025. <laughs> Next up is absolutely by far the it girl of the moment, uh, Club 95 Gala Collection Pink Premiere. Yeah, say that three times fast. Wow. Okay. Uh, so it's the Odile slash Odile. I still not know how to pronounce that face sculpt, but uh, I keep saying Odile. I'm sticking with Odile. Yeah. Um, she is, wow. She is giving us, uh, remember the voting we had to do for the Mermaid special? And Angel Kent actually also had this, uh, blonde Odile fantasy mermaid girl we were all robbed of because we all wanted her, but instead we got the Ken because apparently he won the vote, which I still do not believe, but okay. He actually gave us this girl now instead. So bless the Doll Lords that this Angel Kent, this uh, magnificent piece of a human being is hired by Mattel. Yeah, I am so glad he's part of the Barbie team. And for me, he really restored some Barbie damage because by giving us this ultra Barbie core girl. I mean, it is all we wanted. 
Some people were complaining about her eyes being too far apart, but uh, I'm not really seeing that. I just, I'm just <laughs> so freaking obsessed by this doll. I think she's so pretty. This is a Barbie to me, and this gets my Barbie sparkle shining bright so hard. <laughs> It really, this it, this is what brings my Barbie excitement, my Barbie pride. Um, if I, you know, this is a doll I want to show to people like, Hi, my name is Aryan. I am a Barbie collector and this is my latest edition. Do you think she'll slay? Please, yes, confirm. Yeah. <laughs> that is the vibe she is giving me. She is giving me back Barbie pride. I love it. She has the music muse body, which I also think is perfect for these dolls. Look at the way the dress falls on her. It is, wow, I love it. It is really exquisite. Um, the faux fur she has on her arm, which actually has kind of like this Barbie pattern inside um, with the 80s Barbie B logo, I think. Yeah, love that. Um, her shoes, simple but effective and super cute. I love them. Everything about her. I do not have a point of critique for her. Flawless. Flawless slay. I need at least three of her. <laughs> I hope she will not be sold out like within 10 minutes. And I also actually hope that she will be available on Amazon or maybe in stores, but I'm Afraid that she's going to be a Mattel Creations exclusive because she is dropped to celebrate the rebranding of the membership on Barbie Signature. Because Barbie Signature, the membership is now going to be called Club 59. Because Barbie was born in 1959. Um, yeah. And there's not a whole lot of changes actually with the membership. And if you actually have a Barbie Signature membership, nothing will change. It will uh, automatically change to a Club 95 membership. So you won't have to do anything. It will just be, you know, a Club 95 membership. Um, but I think in celebration of that whole event, she will be exclusive to Mattel Creations. That's what I think, but not what I hope. Yeah. So, Pink Gala Premiere, what is it? It was a whole mouthful. Um, Odile, Blonde, Marilyn Monroe, Fantasy Realness, Absolute 100% Slay. <laughs> so, sticking with some Angel Kent designs and that beautiful face that he created, let's also take a look at the Juan Gabriel Barbie. Yeah, so not an actual Ken version of him, but a beautiful inspired doll um, inspired by the Mexican singer. Um, I think kind of like the same they did with Elvis. They created a bunch of Elvis dolls, uh, Elvis Barbie dolls with uh, a look that she wore Barbie uh, inspired by Elvis. So this is kind of like that same uh, inspiration. Um, I, I mean, wow. And I can imagine some very Mexican pride here. So I'm in Europe, of course, so I'm not really that familiar with him, but I'm sure that he's like a big influence in Latin American, um, artistry, uh, the music business over there. And, um, I think his mariachi look was kind of like, uh, the inspiration for all of his looks on stage. So other than the fact that I'm not that familiar with the singer, I'm obsessed with this girl. I mean, wow, that face, she is giving me some Latina telenovela fabulousness. I mean, think of her in some other outfits and wow. I mean, you could redress her in so many fun ways. You could go all the way glam with her and give her like this evening gown. I was kind of thinking of, you know, transforming her into this uh, Y2K popular girl, mean girl vibe, you know, with the pen and the fluff on it a cute hairstyle with this hat band. I'm seeing it all. Yeah. 
think of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, Marsha, 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 uh, mixed with some Latina fabulousness. Yes. That is what I'm seeing when I see this doll and what I think of when I want to give her a makeover. I think she's about $55. Um, and I think she's also actually available on Amazon and on Target. Uh, I saw a link that she will also be available on Amazon also for $55. So cute. She will be widely available. So that's always nice. I always, you know... Whenever a doll is like a Mattel Creations exclusive, you're like really stuck to their price because I don't know if it's me, but I never see like a really good sale on Mattel Creations. Um, that is like an extraordinary event, maybe around Christmas. But other than that, I never see a good sale on that website because this is a doll you really want to grab in a good sale. Yeah. Okay. And who would have thought that the Barbie fashionistas would still be around in this day and age, right? I mean, I think we go all the way back to, what was it, 2013? I think they're really, this is might have been one of the longest doll lines for Barbie to be around. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at this new, I think it's already a third wave for uh, 2024 because the previous ones were the uh, celebratory 65th anniversary ones. So we got Miss Petite, a red hair cheerleader girl. I think she's adorable. Um, you know, any redhead is a good one for me. <laughs> I love her outfit pieces. Um, not really a fan of the shoes. Then another ultra Barbie core doll. I love that they go so freaking Barbie core with Millie these days. Um, pink dress, heart-shaped cutout on the dress, fabulous pink high platform heels. I wanted, I wanted to say stripper heels, but <laughs> um, they're kind of stripper heels, but I mean, a good stripper heel is uh, a must-have in any doll closet, right? Um, love her. Love the curvy girl. I'm, I mean, that butterfly dress. How can you not find this cute? I mean, yeah. Hope the print goes all the way around the back. That's always kind of like a questionary thing with Barbie and Mattel. But um, yeah, love her. I think her hair actually also has some really dark blue streaks in them. Yeah. Then we have Miss Tall Girl with the flower dress. I love, I love the combination of that beautiful skin tone with the carnival face. That's so pretty. Love her choker. I... I wish her dress was a little bit shorter. Yeah, because it's it's giving me it's giving me Sunday best, and I want it cocktail sexiness for this one. Yeah, it's cute though. Don't get me wrong; it's a really cute dress, and it's giving me Y two K. So I'm here for it. Those shoes, those flats. I mean, that kills the vibe so hard. Why give this girl these flats? I think it's meant to be kind of like a cutesy summer look. Um, but, uh, I would have loved to see some, uh, returning Y2K wedge heels for this look. Yeah. Then also two Kens. I love the onesie style thing for Ken with the tropical flowers on it. Um, yeah. Then again, those clashing slippers. Why? <sighs> Sometimes I really do not understand these color choices, but okay. Uh, very cute. And then we have another broad Ken. I love his face. He is so handsome. Yeah, he just, um, I mean, he's giving off cuddle bear energy. And they're actually also coming with a four pack now. So the fashion four pack has a curvy girl, a petite girl, a original girl with a prosthetic leg and a Ken. Um, I think the Ken actually is a petite Ken or a, what did they call him? A slim Ken? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so I love the curvy girl. Love that face on her so much. The dress, I love the shape of the dress for her body, but I'm not too crazy about the pattern actually, because I'm not that of a, I'm not that much of a checkered fan. Yeah. Um, again, the shoes, girl. Why, <laughs> Miss Petite Girl with Vitiligo. I, she's giving me that model. Winnie Harlow energy very much. Yeah. Do I love her dress? Meh. 
meh, meh, meh. Yeah, I'm not the craziest fan of the clothes of this pack, to be honest. Um, do like her shoes for a change, and Millie actually has a very cute outfit on. I'm not sure if this is like a whole one piece. I think so. And again, a pink prosthetic leg. Yeah, that is just like total Barbie Slay. Love that. Um, and the Ken, he's a bit boring, actually. I think we saw some versions of him uh, with his face and his hair, actually. So really nothing new here. Yeah. But other than that, it's fun to have a four pack. And I think it will be around $30. It's, it's kind of like a guess. So, um, yeah, what do you think? What do you think of these fashionistas? Should they call it a day with these girls and boys? Or should they continue the fashionista franchise? Okay, now this fashion frontier girl, she caught me totally by surprise. Oh my gosh, I... Yeah, okay, I need to sit myself down for this one because I... <laughs> I loved her still love her so very much. First off, the first thing, of course, that everyone saw were these iconic, iconic boots. Silver cowboy platform. Amazing. I, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm not sure if she has a made-to-move body, yes or no. I think her arms, maybe, but I can't quite tell through the pictures. Because I'm trying to look through the jacket, which is this plastic material with a fringe on it. I mean, the, okay, aside from the fact that the plastic is going to be, you know, hell <laughs> to model, I think it looks amazing as a design. And for her, with the stars on it, with the, the whole fantasy around her, I mean, uh, it is perfection for me. But I cannot quite see through it and can't make out if this is a um, made-to-move arm or not. This whole photo shoot of this doll is just iconic because she's kind of giving me... Okay, the fantasy is real with this one because she's giving me futuristic um, cowboy space alien huntress. I think there's actually a movie... Cowboys versus aliens. I'm, I'm thinking about that. It's giving me cowboys versus aliens. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, this outfit, I mean, oh, I can't go on and on about it. And actually, she also comes with a very fun stand. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but if you notice the doll, there's this one picture where she has a stand, actually. And you can also see it in the picture where, she ha where she's in the box. Um, but it's kind of like this um pink stand it has these this wave texture with the stars on it it really gives it kind of like this galaxy feel and wow yeah wow 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 so she has the carl face um she comes with that uh lasso she comes with a cowboy hat um the a silver belt enough pieces to love yeah so I'm very excited for her. I cannot wait, cannot wait for her to arrive, to discover her, to unbox her. So I checked Mattel Creations, actually, and it says a body type superhero. So that should mean that she has made to move arms and knees because the Wonder Woman also had the superhero body. She had made to move knees and arms. So just so you know. Barbie Fashion Frontier. Cowboy versus Aliens. <laughs> and also some new exciting pictures for the uh, Wicked Deluxe dolls. Yeah, so uh, Miss Alphaba and Glinda are getting some deluxe dolls and especially the Glinda doll. Yeah, I know I am too predictable, but I really love her. And I actually think they did a fantastic job on the face screening for these girls because the Ariana Grande doll, slay. Yes, I think she is gorgeous. I love her dress. It is, yeah, I think they're 
pretty heavy on the price, by the way. These dolls uh, retail for $55. So Alphaba actually comes with a uh, bunch of cute stuff. She has the hat, of course. She has this bag. She has her broomstick. And they both have a uh, unique stand. So she has the green stand. And I think Glinda has the pink stand. Glinda has kind of like this pearl shine stand. Yeah. I really like... I... Yeah. And when you look at their boxes, you know, they have more kind of like this carton, more collector vibe box to them. So I think that's also nice because the other dolls really only have that plastic front piece, you know, really flimsy and um, all of that. But this really gives it kind of like a keepsake feel. So I love the boxes for them. And uh, really, you guys, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for this movie to drop. So I don't know for sure if they're already on the shelves, but I think pretty soon we'll be bombarded <laughs> with Ariana Grande customs uh, and all that. So um, yeah, better get ready to open your Instagram and see a lot of Ariana Grande pictures with that doll. So next up is another top tier Barbie collectible, uh, only exclusive to Mattel Creations, which is the Barbie X Keiichi Tanami doll. Well, she is, she is something. If you, I mean, if you, <laughs> you really have to, yeah, take her in because there's a lot happening here with her. Um, so, okay, so who's Keiichi Tanami? He's a Japanese uh, pop art legend known for his colorful, surrealistic style. Um, in celebration of his six-decade career retrospective in Tokyo, we partnered with him to reimagine three of our iconic brands, Barbie, Uno, and Magic 8-Ball. So Barbie is wearing a multi-tiered pleated leather dress adorned with Tanami artwork and a 3D face on her bodice. Her yellow headdress features inquisitive eyes with vinyl eyelashes along with a central eye at the crown. A celebration of art and fashion that sees it all and reveals nothing. Yeah. This really has to be your style. You have to love these, this, this, you know, this clash of colors um, and the, the strangeness of it. it. It's almost kind of giving us or taking us back to the drop of the Mark Ryden dolls. Uh, which are, of course, now legendary and very unattainable. <laughs> but uh, it's giving me kind of that also. This really is art. You can already tell that the quality is really, really up there. It even has a zipper in the back, a functioning zipper. Yeah. For Mattel these days, that is just like ultimate top tier collector level. And, you know, all of the 3D designs on the dress, all the elements... Um, I can see why she is 150. I'm actually surprised that she's not 350 because Mattel usually really milks these kind of like releases. Um, but okay, let's be thankful that this is just 150. Um, but yeah, this has to be your taste. This is not for everyone, definitely not. You know, it is nice that when you get her, you really do feel like you're owning a piece of art because that is what it is. Even the box, it is, for me, this is so much. There's so much going on that uh, I cannot focus on a thing. Yeah, so it's hard for me to take the art in for me because it's there's so much happening there. Yeah. <laughs> And also, I came across this Barbie dream closet that I just really wanted to give some attention. Adorable. I mean, usually I'm not the biggest fan of these closets that they come with, but this one is really cute, actually. Um, so it's it's pretty much your standard Barbie closet, but you can fold it out to uh, like a whole set and a vanity and all of that. It also comes with some cute clothes, some accessories, some shoes. Um, I don't think it comes with a doll. No, but it's super pink. It's super Barbie. It is, I mean, it is cute, right? It's giving me old school pink over the top Barbie and I love that for her. <laughs> uh, because it's who she is. I mean, 
people were criticizing so bad on the whole pink bimboness of Barbie, but that is who Barbie is. That is what makes her fun. That is what makes us laugh, you know, with and at Barbie. Um, it is a vibe, it is a world, uh, and everyone can be a part of that. Uh, she has shown us that, that everyone can be a part of the Barbie world. Um, no matter what color skin you have, no matter what condition you might have, or, you know, uh, physical challenges you might have in your life, everyone can be a part of the pink glittered Barbie world that we know. And I love that they kind of like embracing that again with Barbie. So yeah, what were we talking about? The dream closet. <laughs> it's cute. And can we quickly also address this 35th anniversary Ariel doll? I mean, uh, who? How? What? There's only these two pictures from uh, Gap V Dolls who shared this on his story and um, we know nothing. We all, all we know is this, but how the F was he able to make these pictures? I need more info on this because I'm already obsessed because uh, any, any Little Mermaid lover is a super fan of this final purple dress out of the water moment uh, at the end of the movie. And this is doing Ariel and that whole scene some justice. We need this doll in our lives. When will it come out? How much is it gonna be? So good Ariel face, love that. I love the body they used for, it's, it's the same body of the uh, Disney girls that were, that were just released. Like the Mulan, the Ariel and the Rapunzel one. It, this is kind of like a new Disney princess body, I guess with articulated arms, but kind of like a model muse body, which I'm living for. So, and then this water collar, which gives off that out of the water fantasy. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm that obsessed, yeah. Um, barefooted, I don't think she comes with shoes because I mean, that would be weird. Or, or maybe like these, translucent water element-ish shoes. That would be cute. But we need more info. We All we have is this. Does anyone out there know more about this 35th anniversary Mattel release of Ariel? Sound off in the comments. Please, I will be forever thankful. So that was all the exciting news I wanted to share with you all. I mean, I'm very stoked happy and super excited for all the releases that is coming our way. They're finally breathing some new life into Barbie and um, I cannot wait to see what we are all gonna see for the future of Barbie. I think there's a lot of cute stuff coming our way and uh, stuff we do not even know about yet but whew. but okay. <laughs> That was all that I wanted to share with you all. Of course, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think of all of these girls. Are you excited for them? Uh, who do you love? Who do you not love? Who are you gonna get? Who are you not gonna get? And let's continue the conversation down in the comments below. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah, big kisses from me and I love you all. Oh.